it's Lisa here and I'm coming uh, to you on Sandra's channel today for a cut file daily for the month of May and um, you've seen the cut file really briefly but it was the one that I used uh, over at my channel for um, I did a video on how to cut a PNG file for your silhouette so that is the cut file that I'm using today and I'm going to do some water coloring on this uh, Stampin' Up! Whisper White cardstock. So I'm just using three kind of really pink colors of um, watercolors. And these are from the Gansai Tambi. I think that's how you say it, watercolors. They're really pretty and really vibrant. So um, I am going to love using those. <laughs> Not going to lie. Um, so I just did a wash of watercolor on the background and then after I actually was crafting outside so I had set it out on the deck to dry and it was so hot out today it didn't take very long at all. And then what I did is I took some scrap pieces of pattern paper and some of these uh, Project Life cards and I'm just tracing out the heart and uh, going to cut kind of just on the outside edge of where I had traced and glue that to the back side of some of those hearts and then I'm going to take my pencil after and just erase the lines uh, that you could see from the pencil mark and that's just going to add a little bit of added interest to those hearts in the background so I'm just going to finish doing that and then after I do all that, then I'm going to take my matte medium, which I have in the fine liner, and I'm going to glue this whole thing to the background. Um, I really like using the, the multi-medium because I'm a really, really messy gluer. So if I use the matte medium, I don't see any of the um, glossiness from the glue when you use glossy accents so I really enjoy using the matte medium it kind of has been my go-to uh, glue at like liquid glue of choice lately um, it takes a little longer to dry but in the end I really like the fact that I don't have to worry about how uh, messy I can be with the glue so I'm just going to glue down, um, I'm just looking for something on top of this, uh, for underneath this photo, but I wasn't really sure. And I was going to do this stencil with these watercolors, but you can't really see it. So I'm just going to go back in with some more watercolor and I'm just going to kind of enhance the color on some of those hearts. And it's just going to make some of three of those hearts really pop out and grab your attention so it's kind of almost like the pattern paper but not um, and then I'm going to take this uh, pattern paper and I'm just going to mat it uh, I mat the photo with it it's this kind of yellow and white stripe mustardy yellow seems to be a I kind of like the mustardy yellow color I find it's a little easier to use than the bright bright yellow so I'm just going to glue that down and then I'm going to take a look at uh, some of the stickers that came in the um, add-ons from uh, the Click Kits. I got all this stuff from Click Kits. So it's the Simple Stories I Am collection. And some of the add-ons were like these um, stickers that you can put overlay over top of your photo. And then there was these strip words. So I'm just going to take some of these strip words that kind of apply to the photo. I'm just going to kind of put them over some random hearts here and there and then that's just going to kind of have a little bit more added interest onto that background as well. Um, I have some um, gold and craft uh, washi tape that I wanted to just add a little bit of an extra layer underneath that photo and then this was a piece that came from a leftover scrap piece of paper so I'm just going to attach that with some staples to the background behind that picture. So now I'm just trying to find little accent pieces that I can add to the photo. And I didn't journal at all for this picture, which I think what I'm going to do is because there was so much, um, really a lot of layeredness going on into that uh, layout. I just think I'm going to journal on the back side. I don't want to like mess up what I have here and that's totally fine. It's like a hidden treasure if they pull 
the scrapbook page out of this uh, lay or like this scrapbook page out of the album, then they'll be able to see like all that information behind it. And this picture is of Natasha when she was really young, and that is her Auntie Heather. So I am just gonna journal about that um, later on. So. Um, yeah, so then just adding some little accent pieces all over the place. Uh, my title is going to be You're Wonderful. And this is kind of like Natasha saying that to her aunt. And um, those, I believe, are from the Amy Tan Rise and Shine collection, um, the new ones, I believe. And so I'm just going to do that and add a couple other stickers from the sticker sheet. And that's going to finish off the layout. And I totally forgot to take pictures at the end. So I'm sorry, guys. So this is pretty much it. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And Sandra will be back soon with another Cut File Daily.